Howdy, folks. It's time to give you good people another acoustic artist spotlight feature, courtesy of our pal Jack Ingram and his songwriter series. So listen closely because it's acoustic, you know. It's not as loud as electric. I'm going to stop talking now because Jack will pick up right where I left off. Jack? All right, folks, it's time to cast that neon glow of our songwriter series spotlight on another young and super talented troubadour. This time it's Troy Cartwright. Partlaying a Berkeley School of Music degree along with a continuing education, studying Hayes Carl, Robert O'Kane, and apparently not me. Troy's a rocket launching himself into a very promising career. He's performed his original tunes, Coffee in the Morning, and Busted for us during this session. He's locked and loaded with a new project. Here he is, y'all, Troy Cartwright. And a dear friend of mine gave me some advice. Drink coffee in the morning and whiskey at night. Coffee in the Morning is a song I wrote about uh, some advice I got one time. You know, we put it on our first EP, thought it'd be a, a B-side cut, and playing it live these last few years, people the fans have really gravitated towards it. It was basically an assignment for school, and I was like, oh, I kind of got this idea, and then uh, it came out, it all just came out really fast, and I was just working on building a story, you know, from the beginning to the end. Well, being at Berkeley in general was pretty daunting. Everyone there, you know, when you go, you think you're, you got into Berkeley, so you think you're awesome, you know, and then you quickly realize that there is a lot of work to do. So I think one of the best things that happened was for about four years there, I was just kind of constantly humbled, and that really made me want to work harder. I grew up in Texas. I was writing songs since I was a teenager, but it wasn't until I turned, you know, around 20 and I started listening to this country music, but it was, you know, not like anything I thought it was. It was it was really unique. I had an odd job in college. I was a professional, professional dog walker. <laughs> so we'd walk around and I'd just turn on uh, Robert O'Keen radio and uh, listen to Robert O'Keen all day. And I learned so much about songwriting just from listening to him and Jack Ingram and Pat Green, all those guys. It was kind of like studying the uh, the masters of of their of their craft, and that I think that really helped me as a songwriter. This record is a tale of, of serendipity, maybe gone awry. Uh, it was a lot of random events that, that led to, to that record happening the way it did. We recorded it at a Rattletrap Studios in Austin, and it was produced by, uh, co-produced by Rob Baird and uh, Brian Douglas Phillips. By the second week, we were really, um, we were really all connecting, and, and we all trusted each other, and I, and I think that made for a really great uh, record. I think it really shines through in all the recordings, so it was exciting. There's a song on, on the record called Don't Fade that I, uh, I co-wrote with a guy named Clint Daniels in Nashville. We went in there with a couple different songs and we took a little break outside and he said, man, I, I got this idea about, you know, I'm playing with my kid and and uh, I just don't want this moment to ever fade. I want to I want to etch it into stone kind of a thing. And so we went on kind of that, that tangent there and, and came up with the song called Don't Fade. Have to forget you and me just like this every inch of this kiss don't fade i think when you're raw and honest um, it it definitely it may be it may relate to someone in a different way obviously it's going to be a different experience but when you express something that you know, happen to you and it's a really raw moment. I feel like that absolutely is, is that's what connects you with, with people because you, you know, you feel that. It's kind 